So welcome back students uh, to the chapter exercise 2.3, question number 2, uh, Roman number 2 questions we are going to solve today. And uh, the questions are here, we are going to find out the factor of this polynomial by how? By dividing the first term by the second term. Okay, so let us start. So the first term we are going to write it here and the second term will be written inside the, uh, this. Now we are going to start the division. So as I have already discussed with you in the last lecture that the first term of this that is x3 x to the power 4 will be divided by the first term of this that is what x to the power 2. So when you divide it x to the power 2 x to the power 4. So here what is left x to the power 2 and total which is left is what 3x square. Now with this 3x square we are going to write this 3x square here. Plus with this 3x squared you have to multiply the entire thing. So when you are multiplying the entire thing you write it here. x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay. So now we are going to multiply x squared into x squared. You will give you x to the power 4. Now next we are going to multiply this with this. x squared plus 3x. So it will be 3 3 is 9. And x squared into x. So it will be x to the power 3 plus 3 into 1, it will be 3 and into x squared. So whatever you have got it, you will write it here as I have already written it. So it is 3x to the power 4 plus 9x cubed plus 3x squared. Now we are going to change the sign. This is plus, so it becomes minus. This is plus, again minus, plus, minus. So these two you can see that it is same, but sign is opposite. One is plus, one is minus, so it will be cancelled. Now we have to see the x cube x cube term. The operations will be done between the x cube terms. So this is also x cube, this is also x cube term. So 9x cube plus 5x cube. This is minus 9x cube. So you will get what? 9 minus 5, you will be getting how much? 4. Since the minus sign is greater, so your sign will be minus. So we have written here minus 4x cube. Now this is what? 3x squared. This is also minus 7x squared. Both are minus, so you will add it minus 7 minus 3 it will give you minus 10 so we have written minus 10 and square x square is also there so we will be writing x square plus 2x there is no more x term here so only 2x and the constant term is not there so whatever it is there it will be written as it is done i hope you have understood next so here we have first term what minus 4x square so minus 4x cube and again here first term is what x square so you have to divide it so x squared. So when you divide it, you get minus 4x only. So this minus 4x, we have written it here. Now with this minus 4x, we have to multiply the entire thing as we have been doing in the other questions. So we will be multiplying it. So here we are going to get x into x squared. So it will become x cube and this is minus 4, so it will be minus 4. This is what? Plus 3x and this is minus 4x, so it will be minus 12, x into x, it will be x squared, x plus into minus, it will be minus 4 into x, it will be 4x. So this one, we have written it here. Now, what we are going to do, this is minus 4x cube, so we will change it to plus, this is minus 12x squared, so we will change it to plus, this is minus 4x, so we will be changing it to plus. So now you see here, this is for negative term, this is positive term, so we have cancelled it, Anything else to be cancelled? Nothing. So x square term, x square term, we will perform the operations with this. So this is plus 12x, this is minus x. So here if you do the subtraction, you will get what? Plus 2x. This is 4x and this is minus 4x, this is plus 2x. So here if you do the operations, so both of it, minus plus 4x plus 2x. So you will get what? You will, uh, 6x. And this two, it will come as this. Again, same thing. The first term and this first term you have to divide it. So when you are dividing it to x square by x square, you are getting what? 2. Here we are getting 2. With this, this 2 we will be writing it here. And with this 2 we are going to multiply the entire thing. So here it will be written as x square plus 3x plus 1. So when you multiply this by 2, you get 2 into x square, 2x square. 2 into 3, which will get 6x, 2 into 1, so 2 root. So this one we have written it here. Now we are changing the sign. This is plus, so it will change into minus, plus, minus, and this is plus, and 
put in equal to change into minus. As you can see, it is exactly the same. This one, this one cancels, this, this cancels, this, this cancels. So everything you get, uh, goes here, cancels. The remainder we got here is what? Zero. As I have already told you in the last lecture, that if we get the remainder, then we say, what we are going to write here? Since the remainder is equal to zero, therefore, x squared plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of this term. I hope you have understood. You can copy it down in your notebook. Okay, students, uh, here we are um, there with the third question. Uh, that is, um, uh, the first polynomial given here is x to the power 3 minus 3x plus 1. And the second polynomial given here is x to the power 5 minus 4x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay, now what we are going to do, same thing, the first term, uh, this first polynomial will be written as a divisor and the second polynomial will be written as a division. Now what we are going to do, we are going to divide the first term of this and the first term of the divisor. So we have divided it x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 3. We got it how much? x to the power 2. Then with this x to the power 2, we have to multiply the entire divisor. So we have written here x cube minus 3x plus 1. When you multiply it, x to the power 2 into x to the power 3, it becomes x to the power 5. If this is plus, this is minus, so it becomes minus x squared into 3x. It will become x cubed. This is plus, plus. So it will be what? x squared into 1, x squared. So we have written it here. Now we are changing the sign. The plus 1 will become minus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So these two will get cancelled. This is plus x squared. This is minus x squared. Get cancelled. Now whatever left out terms is there, we are going to write it down. So this is minus 4x cubed, this is plus 4x, uh, 3x cubed. So if you subtract it, you get what? Minus x cubed plus what is left here? 3x plus 1. So we have written it. Now next, what we are going to do, the first term of this and the first term of this one, we are going to divide it. So x cubed divided by minus x cubed. So when you divide it, you get minus 1. This minus 1, we have written it here. And with this minus 1, what we are going to do, we are going to multiply the entire divisor. So when we multiply, we got it this much. After that, what we are doing, minus x cubed plus 3x minus 1, sign we have changed. After cutting it, we got the remainder how much? 2. Since the remainder is equal to 2, and 2 is not equal to 0, so we have written not equal to 0. Therefore, x cubed minus 3x plus 1 is not a factor of x to the power 5 minus 4x plus x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay? You can take it down and uh, practice it at home. Okay? Now we are going to switch to question number 3. Okay. Mm. Okay, students, uh, welcome back on um, the third question, lecture number 4. This question is very, very important for your board exam. Very, very important for your board exam. It generally comes for 3 marks. Okay. Now, what are the questions? Let's go through first. Obtain all other zeros. Obtain all other zeros of 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x minus 5. So this is one polynomial. They are telling us to find out the zeros of this polynomial if two of its zeros are. They have given the two zeros, means what? Zeros is what? Nothing but the value of x. They have given the two values of x and they are asking us to find out the others remaining zeros of this polynomial. So how we are going to find it out? We are going to discuss this kind of question it is very, very important for your board exam. So dear students, I request all of you to listen to the lecture carefully and note it down. <coughs> okay. So to start with, how we will be writing? We will be writing given the two zeros are here, it is root over 5 by 3, that is positive and minus root over 5 by 3. These are the two zeros it is given. Now what we are going to do in the next step? In the next step, we are going to do let the factor of the given polynomial. Means let the factor of the given polynomial. They have not given any factor. We are assuming it. It's an our assumptions. 
So let the given factor of the uh, let the factor of the given polynomial is equal to always this method we will be following with all this type of questions. Okay. So here it is given root over 5 by 3. So you will write anything whatever it is given, we will write x minus the 0 first 0 is how much? Root over 5 by 3. Next into root over uh, into x minus it will be minus and this minus so minus into minus it will become plus so we have written x plus root over 5 by 3 okay i hope it is clear okay next step what we are going to do we have used the formula here a minus b into a plus b that formula i hope every one of you know it Okay, so what is the formula here? A square minus B square. So this one we are treating it as A and this as B. So we are getting what? A square that is X square in minus B square. That is what our B is what? Root over 5 by 3. So we have written here root over 5 by 3 whole square. So after that what we are going to do is equal to X square minus if this root and this square will get cancelled. So what is left here? 5 by 3. So this is our factor means what we are going to divide the polynomial with this factor i hope it is clear okay next what we are writing this step is not necessary but in order to make you understand i have just written this step now divide the given polynomial by the factor the factor is this one polynomial is this i hope it is clear okay so factor will be written here as a divisor and the polynomial here whatever polynomial is given we will write it here as a dividend. So same method we are going to start here. The first term is what? 3x to the power 4. And what is the first term here? x to the power 2. So you will cancel it. So what you are getting remaining? 3x squared. So this 3x squared you will write it as a quotient here. 3x squared. With this 3x squared you have to multiply the entire divisor as we have done in the last question. So what is our divisor here? x squared minus 5 by 3. So when you multiply it, x squared into x squared, it becomes 3x to the power 4. Next, what is the sign here? Minus. Here it is what? Plus. Plus into minus. Minus. Then 3x squared into 5 by 3. So these 3 and this 3 can be cancelled. So what is left here? 3x to the power 4 minus 5 into x square, it will become 5x square. So this one, we have written it here, 3x to the power 4 minus 5x. I hope all of you are understanding it. Okay, next what we are going to do, we are going to change the sign as we are doing in all the questions. So here plus it is, so it will become minus, here minus, so it will become plus. Now these two terms, you can see clearly this is positive 3x to the power 4, this is negative 3x to the power 4. So it gets cancelled. Now, x cube term is not there in the downside, so it will come as it is. Now x square term, here it is what? Plus 5x square, here it is minus 2x square. So, if you subtract it, what the operations will be doing? We will be doing subtractions. So what you will be getting? 5x square minus 2x square. You will be plus 3x squared. So we have written it. And the many thing does not have anything similar. So it will be written as it is. Minus 10x minus 5. I hope this is clear. In the next step, what is the first term we have got here? 3x cube. 6x cube. And what is the first term we have here? x squared. So you cancel it. What you will get is equal to 6x. So this 6x become our quotient, we have written here plus 6x and with this 6x we have to multiply the entire thing, same thing I have been doing in this exercise. So all of you please try to understand, 6x and here what it is, x square minus 5 by 3. So when you multiply this, 6x into x square it becomes what, 6x cube and here it is plus, this is minus, so it will be minus 6x into 5 by 3. So 3 2 is up. So you are getting what? 6x cubed minus 5 into 2 10x. So this one we are writing it here. As you can see it, we have written it. So it will be what? 6x cubed minus 10x. Sign will be changing. This is positive so it becomes negative. This is negative so positive. These two terms get cancelled. Another term here you see 
this is plus 10x and this is minus 10x. So these two also we are going to cancel it. So now what is left of? 6, 3x square minus 5. So 3x square minus 5 is left. Now what is the first term here we have? The first term here we have is what? 3x square. And what is the first term we have here? x square. So x square and x square cancel. So what is left here? 3. So this 3 will become again plus 3 quotient. And with this 3 you have to multiply the entire thing. Same thing we are doing same step we are repeating in every quotient. So I hope it will not be difficult for you. So we have written it. Now multiply 3 into x square it will become 3x square plus into minus minus 3 into 5 by 3. So 3 3 cancel. So you are getting here 3x square minus 5. So we have written it here. This is plus, so it will become minus, minus, so plus. So everything is getting cancelled here. Remainder we got is 0. Okay? Okay? Now you can take it down. So that we can proceed further in the questions. Okay. <clears throat> now we are proceeding further in the questions. So now we are going to write what? Therefore, the required zeros. They are asking what? Obtain all other zeros. So we are writing it here. Therefore, the required zeros is equal to this one. If you remember, it is what? It is a factor. We have got it by multiplying these two. We got a factor x square minus five by three. We got it right. Okay. And this is the quotient. We have got it after dividing it. The, uh, when we divide the factor and the polynomial, we got the quotient. This one. So now what we are going to do, this two we are going to multiply, we are going to put equal to 0. So this one we have written x square minus 5 by 3 as it is filled between it. Here as you can see this all terms are divisible by 3, so we have taken here common 3. So if you take common here 3x three, three square common 3, if you take what is left? x square. Here if you take 3 common, so what will be left? 2x and here if you are taking 3 common, it will be left is what? 1. So we have written it. Now this term we are going to factorize it. So when you factorize it, you see here x square this 2x I can write it as what? x plus x plus 1. So here within these two terms you can see x is common. So I have taken x common. So after taking x common, what is what will be left here? x square x is taking common, then x will be left. And here only x is there, and that one also if you have taken common. So what will be left? 1. So we have written here x into x plus 1. Here nothing to take common. So if anywhere where there is nothing to take common, understand dear students, 1 is always considered as a common. So we have to consider that 1 is common here. So it will be written as x plus 1. Now this 2 x plus 1 x plus 1 we have written it here. And this one x and this one 1 we have combined it together. So we got the factor 1. After factorizing we got what? x is to x plus 1 into x plus 1. So instead of this, we have written what? x plus 1 into x plus 1. And this 3, if it goes this side, so it will be 0 by 3, it will become equal to 0. Now what we are doing? Either. So either when you do x square minus 5 by 3 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 equal to 0, or x plus 1 equal to 0. So when you bring this minus 5 by 3 this side, so it becomes plus root over, uh, plus 5 by 3. Now this square term, when you bring it this side, it becomes square root. Dear students, always remember, whenever a square root comes in the number, the number can be either positive square root of that or negative square root of that. So that is why we have written x equal to plus or minus root over 5 by 3. This one though already is given, but not in, but in order to make you understand, I have just taken this one also. Now the required numbers are here, x plus 1 equal to 0. So this one, plus 1, if you bring it this side, it becomes what? Minus 1. Similarly here, x plus 1 is equal to 0. This one, if you shift it this side, it becomes minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1. So you are going to write it here. Therefore, all the zeros of the polynomial equal to plus root over 5 by 3 comma minus root over 5 by 3 comma plus 1 comma minus 1. This is your answer. This question comes for 3 marks. So all of you please
please try to understand it if you are not getting it please feel free to uh, express your doubt thank you now we are going to move to question number three four okay uh, welcome back students uh, <clears throat> now question number four we are going to do that is uh, what is question number four let's see <clears throat> question number says four says on dividing this this is on polynomial on dividing this by a polynomial g of x so we are going to divide this polynomial by the another polynomial name what g of x <clears throat> the quotient and the remainders where the quotient and the remainders the quotient is first so this is the quotient and the remainder the remainder is this okay so this is nothing but the remainder okay so on dividing this one by g of x we are getting quotient this one and remainder this one respectively find g of x so they have not given g of x we are going to find it out so first of all what we are going to do we are writing here let p of x that is the polynomial we are written p of x equal to x cube minus b x square plus x plus 2 so this is given we are just writing with assumption p of x then g of x they are getting also fine so g of x is equal to question mark now what is the quotient given x minus 2 so we have written q of x that means what quotient is equal to x minus 2 and what is the remainder they have given minus 2x plus 4 so we have written rx that is remainder of x is equal to minus 2x plus 4 i hope all of you have understood it okay next what we are going to do is okay next what we are going to do by division method by the division algorithm we have already studied in our uh, lower section that is divisor is equal to quotient that is q into dpn plus remainder this one we have studied in the lower class that is dividend is equal to quotient into remainder sorry dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder so dividend p of x quotient we have written q of x divisor we don't know the value that is g of x plus remainder that is r of x i hope it is clear once again we have studied one formula in the lower classes dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder so here dividend is what p of x this one is equal to what quotient quotient is what q of x into divisor divisor we don't have that is g of x so we have written g of x plus so plus remainder remainder what we have r of x so we have written here r of x i hope this is clear okay so we have written it now the positive one we are bringing it this side that is r of x we are bringing it this side so it becomes minus p of x minus r of x i hope this step is clear is equal to what is left g of x into q of x okay fine so we are asked to find what g of x so these two it is in what multiplication relation so this q of x you are bringing it this side so when you bring it this is multiplication if it comes this side then division okay is equal to g of x now what we are doing we are substituting the value of it so p of x value what we have we have substituted minus sign it is there minus and then what is the value of q uh, sorry r of x r of x value is this one so we have written it now divided by what q of x so q of x value is what x minus 2 now what we have done we have changed the sign so since the space is less so that's why i have to remove one step in minus into minus it will become plus so plus 2x and x it becomes 3x then minus into plus minus 4x plus 2 so it will be minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is equal to g of x that means this whole thing we are going to divide by what x minus 2 so we are dividing it by x minus 2 so as i have already informed you the first term and the first term we have to divide it so x cube divided by x what is the remainder we are getting x squared so we have written here question x squared so this x squared we will be multiplied with this so x minus 2 so you are getting how much x squared into x it will be x cube minus 
x into 2, so minus 2x. So this one we have written it here. This is what? Plus x cube, this is minus x cube. Cancel. Then this is minus 2x squared, it will become plus. So this one minus 3x squared plus 2x squared. So when you subtract it, you get what? 1x squared plus remaining thing plus 2, 3x minus 2. Again, what is the first term here? Minus x squared. So we will write here minus x squared. And what is here? x cubed. So x cubed divided by minus x squared. So you get minus x. So we have written here minus x. And with this minus x, we will multiply this one. Same thing as we are doing in the previous questions. So minus x into x, x squared. And this minus will come. Minus to minus plus 2 into x, 2x. So we have written minus x squared plus 2x. So minus will become plus, plus it will become minus. So this 2 it can be cancelled. So you can see it. Then here left is what? 3x minus 2. Then here it is what? Minus 2x. So 3x minus 2x it will be how much? x. And this one it will come as it is minus 1. So now this one and this one you are going to divide. So x divided by x you will get what? 1. And with 1 you have to multiply this. So x minus 2. So you will get what? x minus 2. So we are writing this x minus 2 here. So this is plus, so minus, minus and plus cancel 0. So whatever quotient here you got it in this division, that will be your g of x. So we have written therefore the required g of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1. Whatever quotient you will get, that will be your g of x. This question is very easy. I hope their students you have understood. Okay. <clears throat> if you have any doubt, feel free to uh, ask and try to watch it again and again so that you will understand okay okay let's proceed to the next question